Hi, I want to talk to you about some of the fly patterns I particularly like to use during the evening rise. You'll see that most of these are caddis patterns and that's because caddis flies tend to be very important and frequent uh, players in the evening rise situation. The first pattern here on your left is just an elk hair or deer hair caddis. Standard pattern, fish is very well dry but you can also fish this fly subsurface. A lot of the caddis adults, the females, dive underwater to lay their eggs. And so if you put a little split shot up your leader from this fly, you can actually fish it subsurface to imitate these diving females that are laying eggs. So it's a versatile fly, very standard one. You can tie it in a lot of sizes and colors to match most of the caddis that you're going to run into. Good pattern. Next is similar to the elk hair deer hair caddis. It has the deer hair wing, but the body is tied with CDC and you can see some of the loose CDC fibers sticking out. Gives a little more action, floats well, but this also fishes quite well as a diving uh, caddis pattern. The CDC will trap bubbles of air when it's underwater. They wiggle a lot underwater. The natural caddis females when they're underwater are encapsulated in a bubble of air and they just sparkle uh, like they're just in a little silver lining almost. So trapping the air bubbles is very helpful to give that kind of same impression with the pattern. So good fly, one I really like to fish and works well either on the surface or subsurface. Now here we have a very small caddis. You can tie this in different sizes but it's a very simple pattern. Just a dub body and then some CDC fibers uh, over the top for the wing. No hackle, very easy to tie, fishes very well for the small caddis because it floats very flush in the film. And you can fish this on the surface or again subsurface. A lot of these small caddis also dive underwater to lay their eggs in the evening. Another good <clears throat> fly to use. Now we have a pattern that's tied specifically as a diving adult has some poly yarn for the wing, some white poly yarn that's going to sparkle and look white underwater, some CDC fibers and some wood duck to give it some action underwater and also to help trap bubbles of air. The body on this one happens to be tied with a little crystal flash to add some sparkle to it when it's underwater. Again, a very nice fly to use. Then we have a very typical pupa pattern, just a soft hackle or flimph, as they're sometimes called dub body with a soft hackle for the uh, hackle up front. This is a good standard pupa pattern and you can tie it again in many different sizes and colors for different caddis hatches. The important thing is that in the evening you will have caddis emerging as well as laying eggs and so you may need a pupa pattern. You're going to want one of the right size and close in color although late in the evening when you don't have much light the color isn't going to be as critical. So um, you don't need to worry quite as much about color. You want to be close in size. There are other pupa patterns that work quite well. La Fontaine sparkle pupas, for example. But um, this is a very standard one that I use a lot and I find it very effective. Now we're getting away from the caddis. Here is a very typical mayfly spinner pattern called the rusty spinner. This one is tied with poly yarn for the wings and dubbed uh, sort of a rusty brown body couple of split tail fibers uh, at the back which is standard on most of your spinner patterns. Mayfly spinners can be very important in the evening, particularly through the summer. And fish will feed on them quite actively but with very subtle rises. The important thing again is to have a spinner pattern of the right size. I tie these from 18s to 12s and in that size range you're going to be pretty well prepared for most spinners you're going to run into. The wings can be tied out of different materials uh, CDC is common, Skip Morris in the Hook Now uh, June-July issue talks about and has a video clip of tying in CDC wings for the spinner patterns. So another good fly, one you definitely want with you when you're fishing in the evening. Then last we have the little Griffiths gnat, a coronamid or midge pattern. This is designed to imitate the dry fly or the adult midge on the surface. In the evenings, the little midges can drive you crazy because that's what the fish are taking, even though some of these others might be easier to see on the water. 
the fish focus their energy on these little guys for some reason. So you're going to need some midge patterns, chronomid patterns, when you're fishing these evening situations. A Griffiths gnat is a good one. A lot of these are going to be very small. This is a size 20, but you may need them down to 24s, or you may be using 16s. But you're going to want some sort of dry pattern for fishing midges. If they aren't taking the adults on the surface, then you're going to want to use a little midge pupa pattern. But a Griffiths gnat is a good one to use, often works well in the evening. So there you have a selection of evening patterns. These are talked about the techniques for fishing in the evening. Some of the situations you fish in the evening is talked about in more detail in the current issue of the Hooked Now magazine, which you can find at hookednow.com. Thank you.